So in this lecture, we will talk about the loss connectivity method of the Global Protect client. We saw in the previous lecture the user logon and pre-logon, and they both relied on having the certificate available and for the user to auto login, uh, whether they like it or not. It's always on connectivity. In this lecture, we will look at how to use the pre-logon with user logon. What pre-logon with user logon allows you to do is when the computer boots up, it automatically connects to Global Protect. And this helps to uh, take care of issues like updating computers and so on. And then when the user logs on, it disconnects from the uh, Global Protect and then uses the manual login for the user to log in if they want to. And in order for you to set this up, you need the different type of uh, uh, different type of settings in the portal. You need to have the pre-log on. You need to have the first step, which is, you know, user and group. User group type is pre-log on, and that basically points to the gateway uh, that has the certificate authentication. And then uh, set this up to pre-log on, then on demand. Okay, and then you need to create another config for user logon. So you see here where it says uh, this one has a pre -log, uh, user and user group pre logon. So in the first one, you have to set the user and user group pre logon. In the second one, you have to put user logon, but you have to point it to a different gateway because the authentication will be different. The authentication this time will be using the username and password, the second factor authentication. So uh, because of AWS uh, limitation that the C3 XLarge does only have uh, four interfaces and we use pretty much the four interfaces management inside, outside and DMZ, then we are going to push to the client the address with a port 8443. See here, address or port 8443. And then we're going to create a loopback interface. And then so under interfaces, create a loopback interface and give this loopback interface an IP address. You know, so in my case, I give it 172.31.254.1. Okay. And then I will create a NAT that NAT the outside interface port 8443 so service tcp port 8443 the outside interface of the firewall pointed to the loopback interface to port 443 and then configure under network gateways a new gateway and then run this gateway on loopback one and then under the authentication put the gp two-factor authentication profile and remove certificate profile so here the GP two factor and then the agent I put it just to differentiate between the computer login and the user login. I created a tunnel new tunnel interface, tunnel twenty. I give it an IP range of uh, IP address of one ninety two one sixty eight dot two hundred dot one slash twenty four and the client settings I assign them client settings of uh, network settings of one ninety two and sixty eight two hundred dot ten to two hundred dot two fifty. And uh, access route is 172.16.00.12. Okay, so everything is ready. You have the NAT, and adding to that interface, so it points to 8443. And then the portal basically pushes to the client two, 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 two sets of configs, one for pre-logon, okay, which points them to the gateway, which is the address of the, the DNS name of the interface, no, no port. And then the user logon, which gives the interface uh, gateway interface with port 8443. So let's test this out in the lab. So here I'm going to restart the computer. And we'll see the pre logon. Let's see here. This is the first gateway. There is no user right now. Once the computer boots up, it's going to log in automatically using the first gateway, which uh, it authenticates using certificate and authenticates using the computer certificate. 
So here the computer booted up. Let's take a look here and see the remote users. You see the pre-logon and the computer authenticated. And if I look at monitor system, we see the user login succeeded. Uh, tunnel mode succeeded pre logon username pre logon and it's authenticating using the certificate and then now uh, I'm gonna go ahead and log in to the computer which will basically disconnect the computer logon the pre-logon and we'll keep here network see it's still connected and refresh and you'll notice here that it's gonna disconnect any minute Uh, now you see the icon disconnected and if I refresh it takes a minute here the, com the pre computer logon disappeared and now the user can log on so now basically you log in with my two-factor and it should be logging in and I should see this under the other gateway which is the user logon so this is hitting two birds with one stone doing automatic logon for the computer and then give the user the choice to log in that's another option so the options we covered for now basically that's to require to be understood for the exam uh, the first the different authentication method are uh, pre logon user logon which is always on for the user and this should have be a certificate pre logon which is always on for the computer which is starts with this computer logging in as it boots up and then on demand that gives the user the ability to control when they're going to connect and then pre log on then on demand will have the computer automatically log on and then when the user logs on the computer gets disconnected and then the user has the freedom whether to log on or not